Okay, so this is what I'm going to show you how to make. Uh, it's a progression from our last tutorial. Basically, uh, I'm going to show you how to um, add textures and colors to our spaceship. The spaceship here is a kind of uh, dirty bluey gray color. Then I've got some black windows. I've got a, a kind of energy light source here. And then I've got this area here, which is a kind of fog uh, volume effect. So there's four techniques going on there. Um, and I'm going to show you those in the next few minutes. Okay, so let's get started. First we need to do is uh, select our um, spaceship here. I'm going to come over to this tab, the material tab, and we're going to make a new material. Okay, and go into the diffuse button there. I want to make our color a kind of uh, gray blue. There we go, turn. Okay. Now I want to um, click texture here, click new. Now the default texture is a cloud texture here and the default color of our cloud is this kind of pink color. I'm just going to show you what happens in a default setting by uh, pressing S F12. There we go quite a strange looking color, uh, not the kind of color I wanted. So let's change this color here. I'm going to make it into a kind of um, a gray, let's say a, a gray color. And now F12 to render. And there we go, we've got a, a kind of gray looking, um, dirty looking a uh, spaceship that looks like it's been through the wars a bit. Uh, it's kind of got this blue uh, tinge and grey tinge to it. It's starting to look at having a bit more of an effect on it. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do is to make these windows uh, black, I think. So the way to do that, we add a different material. Go over here, add new material, click new, go into our into our diffuse color and I'm going to make that a slightly near black color there we go okay now to make the windows black I go into edit mode by pressing tab and this is highlighted uh, all the vertices of our spaceship now I want to be selecting the faces of our spaceship so I'm going to click that button there there we go I've selected I've clicked on one face but the way I can do it is if I click shift and my right mouse button I can add to those selections without removing the previous selection so it just keeps adding to the previous ones there we go and there we've selected all of our faces that we want to color black click on the black material there move it down a little to press assign and that makes all of those windows black. I'm going to click on the edit button which is a tab button there we go and if I just rotate that spaceship round now we can see all of our windows are black. Nice. Now let's just have a look underneath there. Now underneath our spaceship we've got this kind of interesting area going on here. What I want to do is make this into a kind of engine looking um, space uh, and this is how I would do it. Okay. So this is a view from the bottom. I'm going to add a mesh a cylinder as it happens. There we go. It's made it quite big, hasn't it? Let's move it over there and scale it down by pressing S and then adjusting with our mouse. I'm fairly happy with that. Let me just see what's happening on the side. Okay. Now I'm going to scale that just in the vertical plane and the way I do that is pressing my left mouse button and then click scale. And what that does, that just scales it, doesn't scale it uniformly all over, scales it in the one plane. Now I just want to make that a kind of plate scenario there, a bit like a large coin. Okay. And I'm just going to move that so it just sits a tiny bit below the base of our spaceship. 
Okay, it's looking fairly plain at the minute. Now then, with that I'm going to add a new material and I'm going to make this quite blue there. Um, I'm going to go for that kind of blue there. And this is a different type of uh, material because I'm going to make this self-emitting so that makes it a bit like a fluorescent light all on its own. Um, there we go, you can see it change colour there. Now, when I'm rendering this uh, an emitter light, to get the best effect, I'm going to go into world here. Okay, I'm going to select indirect lighting and I'm going to click approximate and then I'm going to make the bounces about 10. Uh, don't ask me all the mathematics of what this means, but I think it means how many times um, does the bounce does the light bounce around before um, a render is taken? I'm sure someone can answer that a bit better than I can. Let's have a look what happens now if I press F F12. Okay, well that's the kind of effect I'm looking for. We've got our emitting light here, and uh, that's kind of emitting out to the side and creating quite a nice effect. Uh, at the bottom there, it looks like something's going on at the bottom of that spaceship. Now, no spaceship would be without some kind of uh, light coming down, so I'm going to demonstrate a different type of uh, um, material effect now. Okay, side view. I'm going to, in fact, let's do a bottom, we'll do a bottom view. Bottom view again. I'm going to add another mesh. I'm going to add a cylinder again. I'm going to pretty much do exactly the same as I did before. Scale it. Okay, now there are shortcuts involved in centralizing things and making things exactly spot on, but I want to make this tutorial quite simple. Um, I don't want people to get confused or uh, sidetracked with um, shortcuts, this is just basic techniques here. Okay, and in the same way I'm going to scale this in one plane, so I'm left clicking on my mouse, clicking on one of those arrows, and then I'm going to press, press S for scale. There we go, and it's actually gone right through the spaceship, which is what we don't want, we just want it to sit on the bottom there, like that. Okay, now the material I'm going to use here, let's add a new material first. Same, pretty much same colour as before, a, a kind of blue colour, there we go. I'm going to do something different with this, and instead of being a surface colour, this is going to be a volume colour, or volume effect, so it acts a bit like a fog. Okay, now I'm going to make that um, emission, I'm going to put it at number one, actually I think this is the one I should have selected the colour with, there we go. Yeah, just in case you didn't see that, that was the um, gone again. There we go, that was the emission. I don't know why I keep it. And what we do now is just select the emission colour. There we go. Um, let's just leave these as default. Density at 1, emission at 1, scattering at 1. Uh, what I do change here is, this, is the um, step size, so I usually take that to about 0.1. There we go. I think that's pretty much everything in place at the moment. And let's try a render and see what happens. And there we go, there's our spaceship. Um, quite simple looking, but hopefully you've got all the, uh, some basic tools now to be able to color um, objects fairly simply, admittedly, but there's a few techniques I've shown you. Uh, good luck, I'm gonna, the next tutorial will probably be um, adding to that a little bit more.